passions often push people in pursuit of changing their lives, whether that be in a profession or a philosophy. Those who are passionate typically spread their feelings in some way, often birthing a community that shares similar philosophies and lives in harmony. For Dr. Johann Selene, his religious knowledge and philosophy became the driving force guiding his work. He believed that nourishing one's spiritual life was just as important as taking care of one's physical well-being. Born in Vasahard, Sweden on December 31, 1843, Johann Selene experienced a fairly normal childhood and relative financial comfort. From an early age, he always wanted to be a minister, often sneaking off into the woods to preach imaginary sermons to the bushes and trees. His schooling influenced his faith and knowledge, though his home community rejected his specific beliefs and practices. His parents did not pray or read the Bible, nor were they supportive of him learning about Christianity, often punishing him harshly if found with religious texts or books. He learned to sneak and hide anything religious from that point on. Unfortunately, Selene's father died when he was 14, after which Selene used his inheritance to move to Karistan to study ministry. From here, he began preaching sermons and hosting Bible services in his birth town of Vos. After some time in Karistan, Selene moved to Uppsala to study at the Stockholm Lyceum. While he was enrolled at Stockholm, the president of Augustana College and Theological Seminary in Rock Island, Illinois visited Sweden. He put on a recruitment advertisement for Christian theological candidates in the Swedish newspaper to work at the churches in America. Selene saw his advertisement and decided to take advantage of the opportunity. Moving to America was the beginning of a new life for Selene. He graduated from Augustana College and was ordained at the Synod Meeting in Galesburg, Illinois in 1872. After his ordination, he was called to both the Maradal and Waterville communities in Kansas, which began his lifelong love of the region. Wherever Selene served, he was surrounded by a large mission field dotted by small Swedish settlements. These challenges did not stop Selene, now in the Kansas Conference, from visiting every single one of the settlements on horseback. After five years of hardships in Maradal, Selene and his wife followed a call to Fremont, Kansas from Pastor Olaf Olson, largely for the betterment of his health. Fremont was only in slightly better condition than Maradal, though this did not stop Selene's efforts as he created and served a congregation there until it was ready for its permanent pastor. His work was never finished as he frequently visited and taught further south in McPherson. Selene constantly moved to create more communities and congregations. Eager to spread the word, he soon moved farther southwest visiting Pawnee Rock and Ellsworth where he tried to organize a congregation only to fail on both accounts. His appointment at a Marquette congregation faced many issues and personal tragedies within the community, but the congregation did build a new church in 1881. Soon afterwards, Olaf Olsen asked Selene to take over the Lindsberg congregation, which he accepted. For 12 years, Selene was the president of the Kansas Conference, where he would travel 20 to 25 miles to dedicate churches, install pastors, and help solve disagreements during this time. While president of the Kansas Conference, Selene realized a need for a new educational institution that would serve the Swedish congregants. In 1881, Carl Aaron Swinson, Olsen, and Selene, and numerous others would work together to create Bethany College. With permission from the Lindsberg congregation, Selene traveled to Sweden on a fundraising trip for the creation of Bethany College. In Sweden, he asked King Oscar II to provide money and books for the school, which the king agreed to after some convincing. During his time in Sweden, he also recruited new students to come to Bethany. The school thrived allowing both Swedish and American youths of all sexes to learn and gain knowledge, leading them to successful lives. In 1897, Selene moved back to Sweden with his wife and daughter, Alma, where they stayed in Stockholm for 24 years. He recounted this time as pleasant but again did not feel truly at home in Sweden. Alma died from influenza three years into her marriage and her death sparked a protracted legal conflict between Selene and his son-in-law, forcing the now elderly couple from their home. They eventually moved in with their daughter Ida and her husband Olaf in Waxholm, Sweden. Feeling unsettled, the four family members migrated once again to Kansas, this time to Stockton in 1921. Selene lived out the rest of his years in Stockton and died on July 24, 1929 at the age of 89. Selene was a man of passion and community which was reflected in his preachings and work towards the congregations he served. 
His motivations to build a place that felt like a home to him and his religious philosophies made him a very influential man able to reach people far beyond his congregation.